Good morning, Sweet Home. Today is Tuesday, February 7th, and it's a day three. My name is Leisha LeBrake, and here are today's morning announcements. This week's artist is sophomore Ella Hubert. Ella is currently taking 3D mixed media. Ella designed this incredible gingerbread house completely on her own. While all of the designs were stunning, Ella's use of interesting materials really stood out. Congratulations, Ella. This week's Musician of the Week is Matt Gardner, a senior in Wind Ensemble and Jazz Band. Matt has been a member of Wind Ensemble and Jazz Ensemble for all four years of high school. He has worked over the years to continually improve as a musician and is the section leader of the trumpet section. Congratulations, Matt! The next Unified Club meeting will be Monday, February 13th in room 613 right after school. We'll be taking our yearbook photo too. Must have owned transportation home at 315. The Unified Bowling team won their first match against West Seneca five games to four. The highest scores contributing to the big win were Caesar Nance and Mackay Glasgow Thomas. The team is back on the lanes next Wednesday at Holland. Go Panthers! Students interested in participating in a spring sport may now sign up through final forms. Directions to register may be found on the district's athletic website. Please stop down to the athletic office with any questions. Seniors who have committed to participate in college athletics must stop down to see Mr. Schemo in the athletic office this week. Did you know that Ernie Davis was the first African American to earn football's most prestigious award, the Heisman Trophy? He was also the first pick in the 1962 NFL Draft, where he was selected by the Cleveland Browns. Ernie was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame in 1979 and was subject of the 2008 film The Express, The Ernie Davis Story. He was a role model to myself and many young African American athletes in my hometown of Elmira, where he was raised as a youth. Growing up, we all had dreams of following in Ernie's footsteps of one day playing in the NFL. Unfortunately, Ernie was diagnosed and died of leukemia at the age of 23 without ever playing in a professional game. But his legacy lives on through the Ernie Davis Award that is given annually to the top athlete in the Elmira area. He also has a school named in his honor that I had the pleasure of attending as well as teaching in. Ernie Davis was and will continue to be a great African-American figure that exemplified what it meant to be a scholar-athlete. 